Now, on today's show reel, we have the most engined aircraft in the world. Yes, let's talk about the Boeing B-52 Strato Fortress today, which is this one. And yes, this plane does have eight engines. Just look at these instruments. Look at these thrust levers. It's just crazy. Now, this Boeing plane came out 67 years ago, and we can say it kind of aged quite well. Now, this one is a strategic bomber, and a pretty big one as well. But you know what? Let's just go ahead and take off first. Let's also test how many engines this plane really needs to fly properly. I'm pretty sure it doesn't need eight. Now, the cockpit is not very bad. It does not look extremely complicated, definitely. So that's good. Now, we can rotate soon this actually does need quite a long runway yeah i now can understand why this plane does really need eight engines but whatever now as a bomber it can drop weapons which kind of does make sense let's see what weapons we have here i got some mavericks these never hurt are you sure about that now here in this flight simulator we can obviously attack other aircraft or ground so let's do that let's see if this works. oh it works okay yes as you can see this plane is a very nice bomber i would say we can attack some aircraft and ground with this plane all right let's shoot some more weapons we have a 737 flying next to us let's go ahead these are some very very slow ones these are probably air to ground missiles that we have here let's use some air to air missiles right let's shoot oof Boom, there we go. We have finally shot down a 737. That took a while, though. Now, as the name Strato Fortress kind of suggests, this airplane's server's altitude was around 50,000 feet. Now, by the way, this airplane features a very, very interesting landing gear composition. I don't know what this is supposed to be, but it's kind of interesting. All right, let's do an Air Canada and just land on the taxiway. I think that's easier. I like that we even have tires on the wings. Yeah, these can be very practical, I would say. Now, as I've already said, this plane is kind of old, and there's quite a long operational history. For example, it was used in the Cold War or the Vietnam War as well. And right now, a lot of B-52s are being retired because there's simply no need for them anymore, slash they're just old. Now, yes, the name of this aircraft also has fortress in it. This plane is really a fortress and a powerful one as well. Actually, the whole aircraft can be filled with weapons of up to 70,000 pounds. Now, that seems like a reasonable amount of weapons. So yeah, this, uh, this aircraft is doing quite well, I would say. Now, let's see. How does the air-to-ground missiles work? Ooh, 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 ooh. Now, these missiles were so powerful, they managed to destroy my aircraft that was flying. That can't be good. Very, uh, versatile aircraft, I would say. Now, another point for this plane is that it has a very, very long range. Actually, it did set some records for flying around the world. And we all gotta remember, this plane is from the 50s. This plane is not new. But yes, these eight engines are cool and all, but do we really need eight engines? Let's find out. Let's fail two of these engines. Engine one and engine eight. There it is. Let's do it. All right, let's go full power and try taking off. We only have six engines running now, which is uh, definitely still an amount. Now, I think these eight engines kind of make sense because, you know, back in the 50s, jet engines were still a relatively new thing and they were not very powerful back then, I can imagine. Mm-hmm. We actually were able to take off. We are actually flying quite well. That was extremely close, but we have taken off. Now, let's move this along. Let's try only four engines, right? That's still quite an amount for today. Now, I guess we will start running into some issues now. Yeah, this is hardly moving, actually. We're coming close to 50 knots. All right, 100 knots. Looking good. Oh. Oh, oh. Even though if you manage to rotate, then you are able to hold your speed with four engines. So yeah, this plane is kind of cool. It's kind of timeless. It's been around for a long time and it's aging very, very well. So what do you think about the Boeing B-52 bomber, which now bombed itself? And yeah, guys, thank you for watching today's video and I'll see you tomorrow. As always, good night.